All right, good morning, everybody. While we're waiting for the engine over there, I thought I'd do a little bit of other stuff. Um, so I got a customer's complaint. This is a 2013 Honda Civic. Uh, let's see, where where can I? You guys probably want to know the mileage. 173,000 kilometers, so roughly around a, just above 100,000 miles. Uh, this customer's complaint is he got a check engine light, but check engine light's not on. They they do that sometimes, but usually there is a stored code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check what the code is and you got the p2176 throttle actuator control system idle position not learned oh i agree i i, I remember this guy there's a there's actually a bulletin on it you're supposed to check freeze frame data let me uh i think what it says is you're supposed to see it's roughly if it happens roughly around 70 degrees celsius etc sensor one then uh, you do a, there's a software update. So there you go, ECT sensor one on the, the first line there, 69. So roughly, roughly about 70, 70 degrees Celsius. So that's, uh, that's all I need to know. So I'm gonna clear that code. Uh, so this is something that, you know, you guys on the general repair shop uh, might throw you guys for a loop. Cause something like this, you won't be able to repair unless you go to the uh, dealership because all it is is well i don't know if you if you have the tools to update the software in the pcm then sure you can repair it or some people might replace the pcm to a new pcm that probably has the software in it but you're just wasting your money uh but what you got to do is um this thing has a software update especially when a car has never been to a dealership before and you know, when another shop can't figure out, figure it out. Uh, so let me clear the code first. And uh, yeah, we're going to update the PCM because the software for it fixes that issue. So I guess this is going to be a quick video. Uh, okay, so I just, I just uh, hooked up a uh, battery so that way I can do the software update. You don't want to run the... Uh, I was gonna say run the battery dry, but I mean run run the battery low uh, while doing an update because you can you can brick you can brick the PCM doing that. So you always want to keep a constant power supply on the uh, the battery when doing a software update. So let me just uh, get this thing booted up to the uh, software management. Uh, let's see. So let's put in the repair order. So yeah, if you are out there and you take it to a a shop let me count 423714 423714 read vehicle information but yeah so if you're uh, you know at a repair shop that's not a dealership and they're you know you're you're, you're chasing this code for a throttle throttle actuator uh, position learn incomplete i think that's what the code was uh and then they're telling you oh yeah you need a throttle body or you know you need a pcm blah blah and then it still doesn't oh you if you play, replace the pcm you might fix it but yeah they're you're, they're, they're just throwing parts at it and it still doesn't fix it then you know you're pretty much wasting your money so this is where like you know you gotta you probably have to get a second opinion right and usually if you take it to the dealership and like yeah we've seen this code plenty of times and it's just a software update so people who don't take their car to the dealership to get the car uh you know repaired uh all it takes is just putting a new software in the pcm so let's see if there's any uh any uh updates still uh, still scanning or not scanning it's still searching yeah, I'll just bring you back when I uh, get the full update list. We do have a software update, right? And uh, usually it, it updates to the most recent one because that includes all the previous updates. So yeah, so it's just like a one-time deal and yeah, it gets all the software updates into one update. So if any new one comes out after this one, then you know, you got to update it again. But yeah if you have never updated your pcm in the last 10 years and you haven't done anything there might be like four or five different updates that's all in this one one software update that you're doing 
So let me, uh, this is going to take a while, so I'm going to not, not record the entire update because <laughs> that's going to be a while. This, this, it even tells you when you click on it, it this, this service bulletin update is for this P2176 code. So that's the uh, bulletin number. Mill comes on with DTC P2176. So this is the, this is the uh, fix for that check engine light. Software uh, is complete and that's uh, that's it. So I just got to do a multi-point inspection and see what's wrong. Already I can see that the left left brake light is out. So anyways, quick video for you guys. And I hope you see you soon.